In this example, we want to use Taylor's theorem to obtain an upper bound for the error of the approximation. Then calculate the value of that error. Okay. So we're given the, uh, in this case, we're given the McLaurin approximation okay, for cosine of 0.8. So we're given the McLaurin polynomial degree 4 here. Okay. So for Taylor, uh, for Taylor polynomials okay, and for McLaurin polynomials, uh, we can measure the residual. Okay, so the residual, in general, the residual is basically just the the absolute difference, okay, between the the actual function that we're trying to approximate. Okay, so it's the difference between the function and the approximating polynomial. Okay, so this would be the the actual function, okay, this is the exact for whichever x it is, that's going to be our exact value, and this will be our approximate value. Okay, so taking the difference, that's going to be the residual, and, and just in general, as n, as n goes to infinity, as the number of turns approach infinity, this residual is going to approach zero, okay. All right, so uh, let's first calculate the upper bound, okay? So we want to calculate the upper bound for the error, okay? So there's a, um, so for this residual, residual, there's a bound for this, okay? It turns out that the residual is less than or equal to this, okay? So if we have, so basically it's the absolute, we have the absolute value of x minus c to the n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 factorial. Times the maximum of the nth plus 1 derivative evaluate z. So z is uh, c is a value between x and c, where c is the center of expansion. Okay. So all this is, is this is basically, uh, we're taking one extra term, okay, and then we're using the maximum value to bound that, okay. So in our case, okay, the, we're approximating uh, cosine 0.8 okay so we have okay so for our case we're going to get okay for residual okay okay in this case we, we're dealing with degree 4 we have up to degree 4 here okay for our polynomial okay so we want to bound that residual. We want to come up with a bound. Okay. Since we're dealing with cosine, okay, cosine has a maximum value, okay, of one, it, and also sine. So if you think about this, okay, this is the the nth plus one derivative. Okay. So for cosine, you're going to get your for the derivatives, you're going to get cosine and sine. Okay, and then positive and negative of, of those as well. So, but we're taking the absolute value. So, so the the value that we get, the maximum value, should, it's always going to be one because the cosine and sine values, their their maximum, right, is going to be one. Okay. So, we're going to apply that here. So this will be one. Okay. So then from here. Okay, we're going to have, and again, this is for McLaurin, okay, because because of what we're given here. This is expanded about the about the origin, so that means in this case, in our case, c is zero. Okay, okay, so we're going to get zero point eight to the, okay, so this is for four. Right, four term, fourth for the fourth degree. So we're going to add one, 
and then divide by five factorial. Okay, so this, okay, this is going to be approximately, okay, well, actually it's going to be, Zero point eight to the fifth divided by five factorial. So this is approximately equal to point zero uh, zero two seven three. So we round it to three significant figures. Okay. All right. So that is our uh, that is our upper bound for the residual. Okay. So now the actual to the actual uh, value of the error. Okay. Okay, that is going to be this value here, okay? All right, so we're going to have for the actual value, okay, so we're going to get, um, so for, okay, so it's going to be R4, 0 0.8, So the function value eight, where cosine is our function minus the fourth degree approximating polynomial, evaluate that at point eight, okay? All right, so that's going to give us, okay? All right, so I'm going back up here. So this value here, okay, up here, Okay, that is going to be P4 evaluate at 0 0.8. And then we have the actual function value, which is cosine 0.8. So we just take the, the absolute difference of those, okay? Okay, and we're going to end up getting approximately 0 0.000360. Okay, so that is our value of the error, okay? The error being the residual here, okay? So this is the error, okay? All right, so that's that's basically how you solve this. And uh, you can use these to actually um, bound the, uh, or to come up with the upper and lower bounds for the, uh, for the function, okay? In this case, for cosine 0.8.